on our uh, magnificent Swan River. Beautiful winter morning. Uh, temperature's about five degrees. The sun is up, but uh, clearly someone's had a little bit of a mishap here. Not quite sure what's happened, but uh, this bow looks like he's in all sorts of trouble. Um, I can't help. The little pocket rocket is too small, but seems like it's under control. No idea what's happened. Would assume someone's tried to launch on this ramp. Not a great ramp to be honest with you. I wouldn't dream of launching. I'd only launch a kayak or a tinny, small tinny. But um, look, it just shows you, you can never be too careful. And uh, maybe the wind blew him from the moorings and he came down and they've just pulled it up onto that ramp. There's a story there for sure. And uh, maybe, maybe someone can comment and fill us in. I'm looking at the damage there and now I'm, I'm kind of guessing that the high winds we had 48 hours ago um, have broke that boat from its moorings or its pen. Uh, that's got waters just up river here uh, and they've got it at the ramp here trying to re recover it. But uh, good luck to them and I, I hope they sort it. Meanwhile, back to the job in hand. Uh, winter's day, water temperature 13.9 degrees. 48 hours ago, uh, we had a huge blow here in, uh, in WA. Massive winds, uh, trees uprooted, all sorts of dramas. <clears throat> now we've got the calm after the storm. Uh, and uh, here's my thinking. My thinking is that um, with all the debris, uh, and trees being uprooted and stuff going into the river uh, in the high winds. Uh, the brim will head for more permanent structure. That's my thinking. Um, the safe haven of bridge piles and places like that. So no surprises, I'm going to head to Garrett Road Bridge. It's such a beautiful day again. Um, the tide <coughs> is, um, is high around 10ish I think. So I will get to fish high water uh, and um, fingers crossed, we'll, uh, we'll find something. Um, anyway, let's get on with, uh, with the job in hand. I'm just put putting upstream right now. Um, and then once I start fishing, I'll get some more footage. And um, great to see the marine safety guys on the river. We don't usually see them this far upstream. Great day, beautiful. Okay everyone, here I am. Uh, I've arrived at Garrett Road Bridge. It's a beautiful morning. There is a bit of maintenance going on on the bridge right now. I've pretty much got the place to myself. There's a, there's a fellow angler through there on his kayak. Um, in the in the channel between the bridges just um, share with you what I'm doing right now when I arrive here I just do a little bit of prospecting um, and I'm using a, a Z-Man 2 inch a small grub oh there's a tap so what I'm looking for is to try to find fish I don't know whether you can see on the finder there right now there are fish showing so they are moving around um, and what I do to start is I just prospect. I try a few different depths, different speeds, um, and, and see what happens. Now, I just had a touch there. So, and I can see fish on the sounder. So they tend to move around quite a lot, but it's encouraging that they're here. And I'll just um, talk, few, talk through a few things whilst I'm prospecting here. Once I get consistent bites, then I, I tend to um, become a little bit more focused. Anyway, my thinking, as I said, was that following the uh, really bad winds that we had and all the debris in the water, that the fish will, in fact, seek more permanent structure. Uh, and that makes this place ideal. Uh, we shall see. Um, as as you know, we, we've been chasing that theory about whether the brim actually do migrate downstream or not. I did spend 
a lot of time last week one full day I fished downstream I didn't see a fish didn't have a bite I fished every structure all the way up from Mossman uh, through Peppermint Grove um, etc and that's not a good sign um, yeah didn't get a bite until I got to the Narrows Bridge and uh, and then I just hit a, a, a massive school of tiny brim absolutely millions of them tiny uh, being attacked by cormorants anyway let me just sort this out fish on <clears throat> it's not a very big fish but it's a fish and I have worked so hard for it look at it little tiny brim well there you go yep he's got a fish on here looks like a decent fish Nice. Thirty. Thirty plus. Yep, good. Gonna hold it up. <laughs> there you go. Thirty six centimeters. So uh, a good fish pushing the forty boundary. They're here. Let's see if we can get amongst them fish on. I think it's quite a good fish this one. It's taking line. I've got to keep him away from the structure. Oh yes, it's fairly heavy. So I'll take the boat towards him. Whoa, wow, very spiky. be too hard on them but you just need to keep them away from the structure he's got plenty in him and he's a fair bit away from me so I'll just tighten that drag down a little bit he's very strong not heavy but uh, strong so I'm guessing just a mid-size brim. Well, he's still going. And there's a bit of colour. Oh my goodness. It's quite a good fish. Wow, it's a very good fish. Very, very good fish. He's not quite ready, but I'll just see if I can ease him into the net. He's in. Well, there you go. What a great fish. Look at the size of it. Fat, healthy, and I think that's pushing 40. Um, I'll just... So, um, might be worth me just talking you through what's happening here now and uh, how I'm fishing this. There are bream in here, brim, and some quite big ones too. I, I see them on the sonar. There's a guy, the kayak, he's had a 36. <clears throat> I've had a couple of decent ones. Um, what they do is they move. So if you look at my sonar now, and I don't know whether you can see whether the angle of the camera's right, but you can see it's blank. Um, and what happens is, this is a fairly basic Lorance, I've got a slightly better one midships, but um, what happens is the sonar will tell you when the fish are around. In this area here, they patrol up, around, and down, and back, up and down. And sometimes they'll go through and to the other side. And then when the tide is running out, often they'll go down here. Now, <clears throat> they keep moving. And if you see a big mass of them, they're generally very small. The larger fish tend to be a bit more solitary, or they're in groups of two or three up to about 10 or 12, no more. I've never seen any more than that. Now, the bigger brim also, as well as patrolling, they will hold stations. So behind these piles here, when the tide's running out, they will hold station. And when the water's clear, you can see it. 
but you know, like I say right now there's nothing on this sonar um, so what I'll keep doing is prospecting I'm pretty confident now that I've got the depth and the speed of retrieve and um, what will happen is fish will pass through or I as I'm mo moving around will encounter them um, but the technique I'm using and that seems to be working today is a couple of twitches and then a very very slow roll and then a couple of twitches and a slow slow roll and um, that's what's getting me the bites and that's what's picked me up the fish so far anyway I always say it's a stunning day but it is another beautiful day middle of winter well end of winter now um, it's really quite fabulous just sitting here and frankly you know I don't care if I don't catch any more fish it's about the fishing and this is just a sensational day and and look there you go as I um, as I speak hopefully you'll see on the sound of the there's actually a decent fish amongst that lot that's a small number of fish and, and they're mid-sized right or uh, reasonable so they are still around 